Porn stars. Porn stars. What? What's the first thing that comes into your mind when you hear that term? Help that computer call. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. I'm feeling magical. Hell no, man. What the fuck, man? If you're not a degenerate, then it won't be the other thing. Cue the soundtrack. That's it. Nice and hot. But if you're a man of culture, a lady that has experienced all forms of entertainment, television, then you know when you hear porn stars, you think of Rick Harrison asking you, telling you that he's not an expert on this, but he has someone at the back that can tell him what this is. You've seen the memes? Wait, who are you? Your friendly neighbor, Rick Harrison, and this is my pawn shop. Now, me can released a video called A Regrettable Porn Stars Cartoon. Now, if you're not new here on the St. Trace channel, you know we fancy some meat can and we dabble in a bit of popper meat from time to time. So, when I saw this video come up, I knew what I had to do. I had to react to it. <laughs> Whoa! No way! <gasps> Bro, are you serious? Is that Jesus Christ on the cross, bro? Look at that thumbnail. Look at that thumbnail. Is that Jesus Christ on the cross? Why does why does Rick Harrison look like that? I didn't know this was gonna be stupid, bro. I know something sick and twisted is gonna happen. There has to be something sick and twisted. It's a me canon video. Listen. Let's just get to it, man. Alright, here we go. Rick Harrison. What can I do for you? What do we have here? Uh I have Jesus Christ. He has. <laughs> Yo, 10 seconds, Meat Canyon, 10 seconds. You're bringing in, how does this guy, how has this guy brought in Jesus Christ? And how is he still alive? And he's low-key dagged. Yo, hey, yo, is that a six pack? Okay, 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 Jesus, I see you. Ben, how did you find Jesus Christ, bro? How, explain to us. How did you find Jesus Christ? Still good condition, by the way. This is prime condition. There's nothing wrong with him, no marks. He's pretty shiny, you can see the sparkle. He's pretty clean. This is a good, I'd say nine, maybe 10, if you had to grade it, you know, Pokemon <laughs> grading. This would be a good, this is a high value. <laughs> the fine right here, I don't know. I, I need to know how he's gonna explain how he found Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> Son of God or the Messiah, whatever you want to call it. Wow, <laughs> Jesus was the Son of God. I mean, this guy was a big deal. Yeah, true. Is he still operational? Or I mean, yes, sir. Yes, he is. Okay, well, let me let me stick the lines here. Okay. One more time. One more time. What? What is going on? What? What does this help with, Rick? I don't remember Rick doing any of this. Granted, I don't remember seeing Jesus Christ either. <laughs> But why would he do this? Is he not damaging it? Or he's just trying to see if it still works. But why are you why are you injuring this man? This was a good 10, 9 graded um, va valuable. Now it's I'm 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 gonna drop it to a six. I don't think anyone wants Jesus Christ pierced like this, bro. Unless he wants it to its original value because people know Jesus Christ was stabbed on the cross on the left, right side. I mean, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. It's whatever. Okay, let's see what happens, Rick. I like the fact that we can make sure that <laughs> Rick knows almost everything. He's like, yeah, Jesus Christ the Messiah was born. <laughs> wow, how cool. <laughs> Now, let me ask, how much are you trying to get for this thing? You know, my wife said it's either me or Jesus that has to go. Okay, how much? <laughs> so, 10000 I was just wanting an easy $2,000 for this dude. Bro, 2000 Come on, come on, bro. Think, think bigger than that. You have Jesus Christ. He has the Messiah, bro. Live in good <laughs> in kind of good condition not not mint anymore but this pretty good condition and you're only asking for two thousand dollars hold on how much is that in south africa how much is two thousand dollars he's only asking for thirty five thousand rands thirty five thousand rands for jesus christ you're rick take it bro that's a steal that's a steal you're dumb sir keep the wife happy you know how it is <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'll be honest. I'm I'm not sure how to price a man nailed to a piece of. So I'm gonna call so my expert. Let me call my buddy. He's an expert on this stuff, I and he can help it. gauge what something like this might be worth. So I knew it. Out. I knew it. Of course. <laughs> of course. Nice. Nice new cannon. I'll give you that. Feed him to the memes. He had to call in. Yeah. He has to call in his expert. He's not much of Jesus Christ. No. All right. Cool. Yo, Jesus, bro. Get yourself out of this, sir. Mr. Messiah, this this isn't. This is bad publicity. This is not good. This is not a good look or a good image right now, bro. Come on. Now, this is a sweet find. 
but I just want to be sure that buying this emaciated Jew isn't going to just end up being a decoration in my shop. <laughs> It's the goat! The goat right here, bro. Nah, this is literally... This is... <laughs> this is literally all the memes, bro. I'm not much of one, two, three. Let me find out. Let me get my expert to tell me what he thinks about this. Then this guy always comes out. This guy literally looks like Santa Claus, bro. He has the red shirt. Big, dumpy. Yeah, golly, this guy's packing. He's really thick. He got the full beard connecting straight to the hair. There's no line of connection. It's one flow. You can see that he knows everything. He knows everything that needs to be known. I want to see what he thinks of Jesus Christ. How much is his value? Thanks for coming in. So, sir, what can you tell me about this guy? Sir, I mean, me. is this the real <laughs> Jesus Christ? Sir, oh, yes. Jesus Christ is the shepherd. Featured in blockbuster film Passion. <laughs> Yo, bro. Yo, is this the real Jesus Christ? That's a good question. I think we're all trying to know. The shepherd, the son of God. Oh, so you can tell by a scraggly beard and crown of thorns that this this is a tortured man. Okay, yeah, true. The way true. the nails are hammered into his wrist clearly shows don't that this is the real guy. And don't touch it. We have paintings of Jesus with nails through his hands and. Oh, God, but Jesus. it was in fact his wrist. Oh, in my professional opinion, oh. this is the oh. creature that has magical abilities. Oh, he is neither man nor monster. Oh, no, please, he is the please, one sir. and only God. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Oh. Sorry if you're a Buddhist or something. <laughs> <laughs> so in your opinion, what's this thing worth? Sir. In my professional Take opinion, this thing is rare. I mean, yeah. Jesus is a big guy. People True. are uh, People are waiting for this guy to come back and... I guess we know where he's been. So I would say seven trillion dollars. Ex okay, okay you, exactly. That's what I was saying. How is this guy asking for two thousand, bro, bro, bro? How are you asking for two thousand dollars for Jesus Christ? Come on, come on. He fumbled. This man said seven trillion dollars. That is, that's a lot. I found Jesus Christ. Damn, bro, you said for life. Holy. That so, big dumb. given that you heard this thing's worth seven trillion dollars, what's Don't the best you can do for me? Don't sell me. Well, considering the information that I learned, Don't sell me. I think three trillion dollars is more than fair. Okay, yeah, yeah. Man, I don't know. Uh, I just don't know if this is gonna sell. I, I, I could do about four hundred dollars. <laughs> no way. No way. No way. No way. This guy just got. He just found out the value of Jesus Christ is about seven trillion dollars. Mind you, this guy came in saying, "I can." I, I'm thinking two thousand dollars. First, you're stupid, right? Let's get that out of the way. You're you're not. Secondly, from seven thousand, he asked, "What can you do for me, buddy?" He said, "I can give you." I'm looking for three trillion. Three trillion. I'm like, okay, that's a fair deal. That's even less than half. That's that's fair. That sounds fair. Now in my, the back of my mind, I'm like, where's Rick Harrison gonna get three three trillion dollars? Maybe if also the, the United States States government maybe but those guys are dead so I don't even think they could do that and and he's like mm, well, you know I'm not you know, I'm not sure if Jesus Christ can sell well come on come on Rick you're fumbling but besides that he dropped it to four hundred dollars this guy is a scammer this is a scammer sir no no uh, did you do like Five hundred billion? Uh, ooh, uh, mm, ooh, I, I could do about four fifty. Could you do four fifty for me? Four fifty. Uh, the wife will be happy to have this eyesore out of the house. So Ain't no way. We boy. have a deal. I'm happy with the amount I was given today. I know it's less than I expected, but I know my wife will be happy to not have that man screaming at all hours of the night anymore. <laughs> Oh, look at me. What I'm is the happening? Son of God. <laughs> Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. They know not what they do, Father. They know not what they do. Thanks for watching the video. Click here to check out my second channel that has more wacky cartoons and silly videos. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm still in shock, sir. Can you explain what happened?